Well, we played a fully rotated squad, giving El Batabi the start in goal. We actually took a 1-0 lead, but then we lost 2-1 to one in the season finale, which was okay. Uh, we get $56.8 million for winning the league. We give out 19 medals. To win a medal, you have to play in at least five matches. So that's good. Middlesbrough joins Everton and Norwich in being relegated to the championship. And Fulham and Swindon get the automatic promotion. Transmere and, Tranmere and Blackburn in the final playoff spot. Uh, Swindon, have they ever been to the Premier League? They were back in 42-43, but they have been bouncing around uh, the championship ever since. Uh, they were relegated in 46-47 to League One, so that's an interesting club there. But we have some silverware on the table today. It only remains to be seen if we can pick it up. So let's roll the intro and get into some matches. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 35, Football Manager 21, our journeyman save. And we have won the Premier League, as we noted, and we have a shot at two post, uh, two cup uh, titles today. Uh, we do have a couple of things coming in. Uh, so a record low number of league draws with two draws. Uh, Romain with a new Premier League record of 18 assists, beating the record set two years ago by Olzas Gladchenko. Uh, with 18 this year, 17 being the old record. There's a look at the final tally in the Manchester United match. Noel Mark wins the Golden Boot for the Premier League with 31 league goals in 35 matches, 28 goals for Houdi, and 26 goals for Abbas Mohamed. So that was a huge accomplishment. Abbas Mohamed, of course, was leading the way for that award most of the season. Noel Mark, Young Player of the Year. I am named Premier League Head Coach of the Year. So that is great. The Premier League Team of the Year, Noel Mark up top, Baffer, Felipe, and Romain in the midfield, Fowler and Hildon on the back line. And it's Marcus Hoppy of Man United, of, uh, who's that, Newcastle? Yeah, of Newcastle in goal over Solis. Interesting. Uh, we do have Avis Muhammad from Arsenal, and the rest are Man United players. All right, so Cesar, even though we just won the league, uh, and I tried to tell him that his versatility uh, has been great, uh, we are going to offer him out uh, $86 million. Let's go ahead and put, uh, let's put 120 million and 35% profit. We'll throw that out there. I just won't tolerate that. And, you know, that happened with uh, Bielsa in the championship his first year. Uh, Samu Saiz, who was my favorite player on the club at that time, came in moaning that, he, you know, he, he had just gotten suspended for, I think, I don't know why I'm thinking 10 matches, but uh, spitting on an opponent or spitting at an opponent. And uh, so he got suspended. And yeah, uh, then he comes back from his suspension and says, well, now I'm homesick and I want to go back to Spain. And yeah, no, just uh, what did they say? How Raging Cajun keeps on fooling people is beyond me. What an asset we have. Just give him free reign. An award for what? Doing his job? <laughs> Covey Print, you remind me of my real life boss. <laughs> oh my God. So these clubs are only looking to pay 54 or 51 million. He wants to leave. I'm not in a hurry to let him leave, but you know, they're gonna have to meet meet a price and it's gonna be overvalue, so. So we are looking to win the FA Cup for the first time in our club's 174-year history, although we have been in the FA Cup finals five times. 
uh, and Burnley have won it twice, but they have finished runners-up more times than they have won it. Well, I just blew their morale. Josh Wheel is out for the rest of the season. Uh, five weeks with an injury. There's your turnover payroll to turnover ratio. We are last in the league with a turnover of 525 million, 34 percent. But I'm actually encouraged here because look at nobody is above 80 percent. How many clubs in real life in the Premier League are 120 percent or so? Uh, in real life. So that's actually a good thing. Baffert doing a great job in training. Man City have fired their manager. Not a job I'd be going after. When's the last time somebody took a team to the Premier League title, qualified for Champions League, and then maybe drops back to League One? That would be, you know, that would be funny. All right, for our matchup with Burnley, we're back to our starting 11. It's Solis in goal, a back four of McNeil, Fowler, Hilden, and Licka. Felipe and Jasufi in the midfield. Baffer and Romain. I'm going to change him to an inverted winger. And Cesar. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep Cesar. And Mark up top. Oh, is he the one I've got transfer listed? Yeah, you know what? Well, I'm not going to start him. We're going to put Graves in as an advanced forward. Yep, Cesar can kiss my butt. And in fact... I'm going to do that, and we're going to move him down to the U23s, just to where he's out of sight, out of mind. Yes, I will be petty. <laughs> Go out there and enjoy yourselves in Wembley. Give the early encouragement. And it's Burnley with the first highlight. A corner gets headed right back to him. Cleared over the top. Graves is on it. Fights through. He tries to pick a pass out to Mark, but can't do it. Oh, and they cut through Fowler and McNeil. I don't know if there was a save or if that hit the woodwork. I'm going to say that hit the wood. Lecca into Romaine. Comes back to Lecca. They need to do better. Over the top. Oh, and it's off the woodwork for Graves. Bonnet throws it out. And they have got four shots to R1 here in the early going. And it's another Burnley highlight. Come on, boys. All right. Come on. Oh, there's an interception. Why? Why did you do that? Oh, God. That was like heart in the throat time. It's over the top. Mark is through. He dinks the keeper and hits in. Number 53. What a finish by Noel Mark. Oh, my goodness. And he didn't have much time because Bonnet started running back as soon as he got his foot on that ball. Oh, my goodness. And we have taken a 1-0 lead, both clubs with some big misses. Licka picks up a yellow. Now, he is suspended. He'll be suspended for the first match next season in the Premier League, or three matches, actually, because they suspended him for two more. Oh, they picked another pass out. Mark's on it, but he can't get underneath. He can't get on top of that one and sends it high. Let's encourage him again. 45th minute. Crossed in, knocked away. Felipe, it's through. Was he on sides? I don't see him moving. I think they're going to look at VAR there. I don't know if he was, but I think because he's not moving, I think they call that one back. Disallowed. Yeah. If he was offsides, I don't think it was very much. Oh, just barely. But it's still one nothing. Been an evenly matched matchup here for the most part. 
Let's go with, uh, no, we're not going to do that. Go out there and win for the fans. More encouragement here in the early going. Come on, boys. Into the 60th minute. It's Wagner for Burnley. It's headed out. Oh, that's deep into Wagner. He crosses it, but it's cleared out. Some solid defensive work there. There's an interception by Jasufi. Graves. Oh, uh, it gets poked away from him. Oh my god, they almost put it in their own net. The keeper was backing up. That was dangerous. Oh, they're going to use goal line technology here, but I don't think it crossed over. It was close. Oof. It would have been nice to have gotten that, though. All right, let's go ahead and... Jasufi has a potential knee injury. Let's get him off. Mateus has looked really good. So let's bring him in, and then we'll reverse these two guys. That fits Mateus better. Felipe can do either position. All right, Wagner has some space. Up ahead to Davies. Fowler misses it, and Davies thankfully shoots wide. There is going to be a foul there, and it's a yellow. Now, do they give him a set piece from there? Romaine, it's headed out. Mark's on it. We pull all the way back to midfield. Come on, fellas. Let's demand more. Back to the keeper. Ah. Uh, can't do that into a double team. McNeil on the overlap. Laid off to Mateus. There's a header and it goes over. They make a sub. We're still holding on 1 nil. Come on, boys. Felipe. Squared over. Mateus picks it up. He takes a soft shot. Could have been something there. Revis, Rivas wins the header. Deflected by Licka. Good defensive effort there. We're into the 82nd minute. We have some more tired legs. Uh, Felipe, let's bring on... Oh, boy, I don't really want to... Do I bring Romain back into the mid? Maybe. And then we can bring... Let's bring Pascarello on. Well, then I have to bring Pascarello to the back line and Mapasi on. Let's do that. Okay. Baffer needs to come off, but I don't have the subs here. Come on, four minutes. Four minutes. There it is, and we are climbing this podium again. Second piece of silverware. We've done the double. Very, very excited. Not the best game, but a hard, hard fought contest. One nil, and we have earned the FA Cup for the first time in club history. There we go. Silverware, boys. Second piece for the trophy cabinet. Loving that. The Solis somersault coming up. There you go. There you go. Very evenly matched contest. Very evenly matched contest. Congratulations. Try to get the motivation up. We've done the double, first time in FM21, and we have one more match coming up in the Euro Cup final. We'll be right back. The World Cup squads have been named. Here are our current players. Licka to the Czech Republic, Jasufi and Baffer to Germany, Felipe to Portugal, Hildon to Romania. Kukelis, who's out on loan, goes to Australia, Vitor to Brazil, and Solis to Colombia.
So we'll have, be well represented on the World Cup stage. We've done the double. We picked up a nice chunk of change. I want to say it was $5 million. Does that sound right? $5.41 million. And then we pay out $3.6 million to the coaching staff. So that's good. Nice little bonus. So here's the question. I'm not going to sign anybody because I'm not going to be here next year. Now that, you know, we've already decided to leave at the end of the season. So that is uh, going to be what it is. But we are going for the trouble against Standard De, Li De Liege. So needless to say, this is a little different from a standard journeyman save. You know, this would be like, oh, my God, now we've taken that next step. We've won the Premier League. Can we win, you know, Champions League next year? But that's not the goal. That's not the goal. All right, we are into a historic Euro Cup final. It will be the first final in the club's history. And uh, Standard de Liège will also be appearing in their first Euro Cup final in their 160-year history. Noel Mark is the go top goal scorer in the competition. Things are going well. I would love to end this on a high note with yet another podium visit that would be great i'm not going to have a talk with them and i am not going to accept match that offer oh who's this lansdale oh the head coach at leeds accepted a new contract oh wait he's the u23 huh victor stetchenko is the head coach they are 12th in the premier i guess he could get fired in the off season. So maybe we come back with leads and make that our final run in the save. That would be interesting. I'd have to look at leads again. He's been our goalkeeper coach for four seasons, and he's going to be retiring. Nick Barbe will also be retiring. He has 42 years of experience. He's been a scout for us for one year. All things that I don't need to worry about. You know what? I am going to do that. That's what my coach is recommending. All right, let's go with Solis and Gola back four of McNeil, Fowler, Hildon, Pascarillo. No, let's go with Licka. Pascarillo on the bench. Romain and Felipe in the mid. Mateus is unregistered for this. And I didn't have another registration period, or I would play him in here. Jasufi's out. Uh, he really can't play except in an emergency. What about, you know what? Yep, let's do that. Ramos and Felipe in the mid, Baffer and Romain on the wings, Graves and Mark up top. And we could bring Cesar on. He played a 6-5. I'm going to start Cesar and Graves could be done. We're going to make him a deep lying forward on attack. Part of his promise. We'll look at this as a shop window, but he's also the better option. <laughs> I don't know when the last time Graves has scored. Come on, boys. Nice stadium here. Walking it out onto the pitch. Let's give him the early encouragement. We get the first highlight. Building from the back. It's Fowler. Ramos. Good ball out to Romain in space. He pops it ahead. Mark cannot cut the angle, and it's knocked away by Heathcote. And then Romain gets done. Good tackle by Felipe. And then over the top to Mark. Laid back over to Romain, and he takes a shot. Baffer made the run. And I think he caught the ball right on the goal line. Oh, my goodness. How, how was he not off sides? And, yes, I do need to see another run. So there is – I wish I could see the reverse angle. Ah, oh, and he was. He was behind Van den Bosch. And what a run at the back post. And we've taken a 1-0 lead. That was big. That was a really nice goal, too. All right, Romaine. 
beats his man. There's Noel Mark. He gets his 54th, and he has spotted us out to a two to nothing lead, and we're only in the ninth minute of the match. Oh my goodness. We have cut them open early. Let's give them some praise. They do have a highlight here. Cleared away, but not too far. Vanden Bosch back on it. Headed out. Romain is on it. Oh, he puts it over the top. It's Noel Mark. He's into the box. And it's three to nothing Lester over Standard Liege. Oh, my goodness. Remind me, didn't we play Standard Liege in the uh, Euros in the group stage? I think so. I think we did. How, how funny that we are now here in the Euro final with our possibly uh, the team that was in our group stage with us am i am i misremembering that i think i'm right about that or was that with the graf shop could have been the other save could have been with the other save nothing much going on all right we're going to come back with a highlight just before the half would really hate to see them get one back here cesar's on it Play it ahead to Mark. Play it ahead to Mark. Mark clears it out. There it is, and Mark has another one. 56th goal of the season. That's a first-half hat trick, and it's Leicester City 4, Standard Liege nil. Oh, it is over. It is over. Knock, knock on wood. <laughs> knock on wood, because we've blown a four-goal lead before, let's be honest. Oh, that is huge. Uh, outstretched arms. Delighted with your performance. Let's give them some early praise here. Come on, boys. We come back with another highlight. It's Cesar. Ramos. Felipe. Oh, that was poor. Right into Matambo's feet. Good defense by Fowler. Baffer comes back inside, lays it out to Romaine. He's into the box. There's a cross, back post, and it's sent over for a goal kick. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make a couple of subs here. You know what? I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring Graves on for Mark. He's got his hat trick. Let's let him come off to a roaring ovation. All right, so we're going to bring Graves on for Mark so Mark can walk off to an ovation. Felipe's tired. Uh, let's, bring, let's bring Esser in for him. He hasn't played in a while, but he's okay. Now, is he better as a advanced playmaker? He's better as a deep-lying playmaker. Uh, so let's move him and Ramos around. We'll do that. That's two subs, so let's hold the last one. So Ramos moves over to the right. Licka is tired, and he's on a yellow. I don't care about that. Come on. All right, let's uh, 79th minute. We got a lot of tired people. Licka for Pascarello. The other two can run it out. We've got 10 minutes left for the treble. Good tackle by Romain. Cursed. Agudo. McNeil tries to cut that off. Baffer's over on defense. Oh, he stuck a foot in. Don't get carded, man. We don't need that. Oh, there's a through ball. And looks like Solis laid out for it to block it. And it goes out for a goal kick. Let's, uh, let's praise the entire team. We're in the 87th minute, three minutes plus stoppage time with a four goal advantage. I don't think we can lose it now. We're going to take the treble on the way out the door. There's a cross. The header's in. It's Eric Graves, and he's got 34 on the season. Romain with a brilliant assist. Oh, my God, that is huge. That is huge. We're going to win this in style. 5-0.
Silverware, number three on the season. We've done the treble. You see the cat? <laughs> we have won the treble. There it is. It goes to our captain. What a moment. And I know that I'm going to be leaving. What a victory, 5 to nil over Standard Liège. I actually want to go back and look at the group stage and see if, that, if they came out of our group. That would be, that would be insane, wouldn't it? Uh, outstretched arms, very happy. All right, let's go to the Euro Cup, and let's go to the group stages. No, it was, it was De Graaf Shop where I was in group with them. We were with Ajax. Standard finished second to Porto. Oh, what a season, boys. What a season. We do the treble. We get 10 million for that. 22 medals go out to the team. Cajun leads them to glory. You guys have the entire summer to, to rest. Romain, four assists and 10 key passes. Usually I praise him for the passes. We get 15 million from EuroCup TV revenue, 2.6 million in the coefficient payout. We give 13 and a quarter million to the squad and the staff for winning the Euros. Oh my goodness. What a season. All right, guys. Well, we will come back, uh, I guess, next episode. We'll do the end of season review, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. Uh, I think we owe it to the club for that. Please hit the like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content. Share this video because we win the treble going out, and we will be joining our fourth club next episode. I don't know who it is yet because the season just ended. Guys, thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.